Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Marshall here, and I'm starting a new series on this YouTube channel, uh, and I'm starting a new series on my channel. This time, if you've seen the news in PA, we've got a new bounty enacted on the top ranked players in Planetary Annihilation, whereby players from Forged Alliance Forever who are used to playing Supreme Commander Forged Alliance are invited to play for a cash prize if they can get to the top three of star rank, the highest rank in PA. And one player has taken this uh, offer up so far. You might recognize him if you're from the FAF community. He is Tagada, or Tagada, or Tagada, depending on how you want to pronounce it. In lovely deep blue on the south spawn of Locke, going for bots first. This is his first game of PA since he said that he first played in 2016, and this is his first game since then. So first game of PA in five years. He's not up to date on the meta at all. And he's playing against an opponent who is also from Forge Alliance, Jagged Appliance. Jagged actually recently coached me in the uh, recent RTS triathlon. Jagged uh, walking his commander, something you do a lot in Forged Alliance. Uh, in PA, you don't do that as much because your commander isn't really a frontline weapon in PA. It is in Forged Alliance. So what we're going to be doing in this new series, which is what I sort of trailed at the beginning of this spiel, is following the progress of Tagada and others if they want to uh, take up the mantle and, and take the offer of the bounty. And we'll be seeing how Tagada develops over time. He's already been uh, instructed on the meta and etc. by Nick. But uh, this, this game was long before that and I think I've got one more game that I'm going to be casting which is sort of pre-Nick talk, if you will. Um, pre, pre up to speed. And then we'll be following from there. So Tagada is, from what I hear, the top player in Faf, or at least one of thereof. Likewise with uh, with Jagged, if you're a follower of his, I think he uh, streams on YouTube a lot and uh, casts and coaches Forged Alliance, and uh, is part of the balance team for it. So shout out there. Jagged, though, going uh, a number of bot fabricators, expanding in different directions, which makes sense. I mean, you can. He's floating a bit of metal at the moment, hence the additional factories, which is good. Uh, he's got an idle commander, though. He doesn't really want that. And uh, sending a bunch of docks out as well. So, of course, neither of these players super up-to-date with the meta at the time of this game. And indeed, Tagged are going straight for T2 with only uh, two two units there, two fabbers, while his, whoop, hello, his commander is uh, building and assisting factories on, on the backside of, of his spawn here. Both players now, though, struggling for power. They're going to be wanting to get some more of that. The, both players, though, have a lot of fabricators uh, for this stage of the game. That's one of the reasons uh, players tend to struggle with their economy early. You don't want this many fabricators. You really, really don't. Um, again, these players come from Forged Alliance, where from what I uh, learned from Jagged in the current balance is, you know, you're spamming fabricators from a factory basically constantly. Um, you don't really want to do that in PA. In PA you want maybe about three, maybe four fabricators at the beginning and then uh, wait for a while before you before you up it. Whereas you know Jagged is already on fourteen, uh, Jagged is on seven. Both of these players moving out here. 
Jagger just sending a few units. And uh, again, something else that uh, players tend to not realize when they move over from Faf is that units in PA are pop much more popcorn-y uh, when compared to Faf. So sending like one or two units to raid if it's against a base is just not going to do much at all. Um, if you if if you're going for a fab snipe, that's one thing. But if you're going, okay, I'm going to go and have a raid. You know, it's it's not going to get very far. So I like what uh, these players are doing by trying to lock down their expansions with factories. That is uh, something that you you do tend to do in uh, in PA, which is good. You do it a little bit in faff, from what I can understand. Maybe sort of at the level of uh, game that I was coached and was playing. You know, it's, it wasn't so much of a thing for, for beginners, but, you know, I'm not going to pretend for a second that I know what I'm talking about with Faf. If you'd like to see some Faf content on the channel, folks, please drop a comment below. Let me know if you'd like to see some Faf and uh, Beyond All Reason or Bar content. And apart from anything else, the comments and the engagement with the videos really helps me out. As do likes, so if you're enjoying this video so far, drop a like! And if you think I'm the sort of person you could listen to on a semi-regular basis, hit that subscribe button and ding the notification bell and all of that jazz that every YouTuber says, and you're probably sick to death of hearing by now. So, meanwhile, Jagged, though, expanding quite nicely on the rear of the planet, picking up a load of mechs and his economy is doing well for 145 and floating to Taggart as 96 and stalling here. A lot of that is uh, from his T2 factory here, and quite so many fabricators. That is an unbelievable number. His efficiency down to 43%, floating around about there. Not great, really, and uh, what he's going to do is also, again, another sort of instinctive thing from Faf, which is immediately upgrade your your resource points. In a 1v1 in PA, in the current, uh, current balance and meta, uh, getting advanced eco is really quite expensive. Uh, and if you're certainly in a competitive 1v1, it's much better to just, you know, get more units out and boost them out of your T2 factory than... Uh, and trying to get loads loads of upgraded mechs. Um, so just go and claim more and raid more T1. It's typically the way to the way to go. Okay, placing his units around about in nice places. Tagada though edging forward in the army counts there. Getting a little bit of a raid going off the back here. Nice docks force there. Got a couple of grenadiers and an ant. Will prevent this T2 factory from going up, which uh, nice win there for Tagada. Killing off the fabs is much better than just killing off the factory because these these factories take a quite a beating. When it comes to T1 factories, that's a different story, but. Too. And again, you know, this this many units in a small, tiny raiding clump isn't isn't doing a lot of damage, is it? You know, uh, particularly docks at the moment are are known to be really quite weak. So you want to try and avoid using uh, or relying on them per se. Obviously, mix them in, but I might not necessarily rely on them in favour of other units. But metas change. I've heard recently that uh, lob spam is becoming a thing. Certainly in uh, low and mid tier games. Jagan now floating significant amounts of resources and is really pumping out a lot of units out of all of these factories now. Ten, ten factories constantly producing units while Tagada is on 11 and semi stalling. Occasionally hopping into the red there, but he's also got a load of idle factories, which is uh, preventing his unit count from going up. But partially, that's because he's using his T2 factory and trying to boost it out with his uh, advanced fabricator. He's got up a T2 P gen, which will uh, do well and support him. And here we go with the T2 pushing down the middle, and Jagged, without T2 of his own, 
is going to struggle against this, still in the faff mode of walking that commander. It's not leg day for commanders in PA, guys. It's not. Don't even pretend that it is. Unless you're a, a star player saying that uh, you can com push and, and all of that jazz, but uh, certainly for 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 the for the mortals amongst us, uh, keep Capanda safe, keep him busy. <laughs> Slammer dancing around grenadiers, trying to push into uh, the grenadiers here up the ramp. Not ideal for them. Down they go. Got another force following them up, of course, and Jagged over here still. Trying to build more factories there. He's suffered a little uh, few losses on his metal front. That's all of this stuff in the middle here. All four mechs gone down. All 28. 28 metal income. Yeah, just waiting at the base of the ramp there as Tagadet. And on his base, there we go, you see, look. Going to the advanced mechs, it's, again, it's 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 a lot of investment for it. Uh, for for not the most amount of gain. Yes, it gives you 15 mechs, so the equivalent to uh, two and a bit metal sites, but I don't know. It just takes so long to build. There we go. We're going to see some pushes from Tagada now. He can push in, certainly, and take out this entire power line. This is what you want to be looking for as well in your 1v1s. Can you take out the power lines? Because if you can do that, you can prevent folks from doing a lot of things. Tagada here, he's just not pushing his units, and there's a load of bubbles right there! Send them in. Wipe them out. All of them. Meanwhile, Jagged's commander still on the side there. Not making too much in the way of uh, busyness, but here we go, Jagged, pushing in on the commander. Again, he's super scared of this commander, because uh, he thinks it's a bit like Faf, where the commander is the powerhouse. And certainly to a bunch of ants like that, the commander is still pretty formidable with a couple of uber cannons, and uh, he'll, he'll have his way with them, but you know, that small group of ants there, I say small, it was quite a moderate size actually. Knocked the commander down by 18%. Uh, Tagada ready to push in again. Tagada needs a few more units now. He's got loads of idle factories and that's all because uh, he's stalling metal and he can't go back to his four in the middle here in this nice defensible region. Uh, Tagada just owns this middle area. Pushing out with a few more units, continuing to get T2 now, which is really going to start paying for itself when they meet this side of things. Especially now that Jagged is falling behind on the army count, down to 57, 58, 59 or so. Here comes Tagada. Is he going to go and see the commander there? There he goes, he sees it. Is he going to reroute his units now to go and deal with it? Or is he just going to come and deal with these factories? Probably may as well just push forward, to be honest. Take out the build power. It's not a bad call. He could probably kill the commander with, uh, with these slammers if adequately um, spread out. So he's going to suffer a few losses. Again, he's just not pushing the units in. And this is also, you know, his his first 1v1, his first game since 2016, so we can't uh, you know, expect either of these players really to be super on top of all of the clumps of units at any one time, because of course they're also trying to make the transition to spherical maps, which is part, part of the challenge, to be honest. Which is why I recommend new players always have pole lock on, because at least it grounds you in one particular angle, so that you can, you know, 
keep your bearings on where you are on the map rather than ending up all over the place and thinking, wait a second. And that's partly why I keep Pollock on in my casts. If you don't like Pollock for the casts, hey, why not let me go know in the in the comments if you'd prefer Pollock or not. Let me know. Personally, I prefer it. Helps me keep my bearings, but yeah. That's just a personal preference. Right. Still another army from Tagada coming in from behind there. Jagger trying to get up to T2, falling back with his fabs. He could just commit to it. Just go for it. And again, he is stalling on everything right now, down to 20% efficiency. At least keep one bot fabricator or something working on this, because otherwise buildings decay over time. I'm not sure if that's a thing in, uh, in Forged Alliance, but certainly in PA... Buildings do decay if you're not uh, building them for a certain amount of time. <sighs> Down it goes. Meanwhile, Tagada honing in on this commander there. I think this is probably closing in on the end of the game. Doesn't have too many T2 units in this force though, so won't be able to kill the commander outright here. Where are his slammers? Looks like they were defending, but he has got a significantly larger force now. 157 to 44 in the army there. 257 in terms of his eco. He's got T2 all over his base now in terms of uh, resources. He's raided Jagged's sides. Raiding his back. And Jagged's commander is kind of left high and dry now in the middle. Again, both of these players, their first game fairly sure in uh, in PA in a long time. Transitioning to spherical maps and transitioning to the nuances of PA compared to FAF. I'd say both of these guys have done pretty pretty well, to be honest with you. And there we go. And that, as they say, is that. Well, ladies and gents, Again, do not forget the the bounty is happening if you're a FAF player and you fancy uh, fancy a go at the, the top ranked in, in PA. I will have some links in the description and chat below where you can see the details and prerequisites for your participation and how to get involved. And if you're excited for this series, do let me know in the comments. And that's all from me for now. I've been Marshall. Thanks again for watching, folks, and have a good one.